Hey what's up everybody, so welcome back to a new video on the channel. But today we're talking about how you can make your own VIX website. So your very own website and we're going to walk through how you can make it step by step, all the tools you will need so you can go ahead and create your very own website on Wix. To start off, you should probably go ahead and click on the link in the description so you can follow along in the tutorial so you make sure to remember all the stuff we will be going through. And this is going gonna, gonna to be a quick tutorial on how to use the basic tools in Wix. And if you want more advanced tutorials, please leave a comment and I'll make sure to get some more advanced options as well. Uh, but if you go ahead and click on the link in the description, you will be sent by this website right here so just go ahead and click start now and create your own account when you have created your account you will be presented by this website right here or this page so now it's kind of up to you what are you going to do are you a business online store maybe you have a restaurant or cafe or something like that uh, just go ahead and pick your category for this one i'm just going to go for other because this is just going to be a a tutorial and this right here you can pick the ADI and Wix will actually create a website for you you just answer some questions and it will generate a website for you uh, in this tutorial we will actually go ahead and make our own website because you will have a lot more options by doing so when you click to the next page, you will be presented by a lot of different templates you can choose from. So this is a great option if you just want a template to use and then just put in your own content. Uh, if you have a car garage or maybe you're a coach, uh, maybe you do webinars, photos. Uh, just go ahead and look through all these different options on what you can do as uh, on your website and this is a great way to get started because you will get a template and then you can edit all the different content on the side so it matches your uh, company or whatever you're doing so make sure it just fits your brand uh, but we are just gonna go ahead and use a blank template so I can show you a lot easier what we're gonna do so we're gonna start from scratch with a white website so this page right here is going to be a fully white website with nothing on it. So as you can see, the website right here, this is what the website is going to look like. This is the editor tool in Wix. Just to get started, up here you can switch to the mobile view of your website and desktop. So make sure you remember these two tools. Let's skip that. So when you edit your website on the desktop, you want to make sure that it looks good on mobile as well. So once you're finished with a desktop version, I recommend you to go ahead and check on the mobile version as well so it looks great. Uh, so you, just to make sure that most of your traffic actually can see what a website looks like. Most of the people these days use their mobile phones, so it's very important that your mobile version looks great. Uh, but let's get started. Right here you have your different options on things you can do. So menus and pages, backgrounds, you can add stuff, add apps to your website. Uh, a lot of different companies produce apps that you can install to your website for new features and stuff like that. My uploads, if you upload photos or different files to your website, it's going to be right here. Start blogging, if you want to have a blog on your website, this is a great tool. And bookings, if you want people to be able to book, let's say for example, a table uh, on your restaurant. So that is also a great option. Up here you can see what page you're on, so right now we are on the home page. If we wanted to add a new page to our website, all we do is click on menus and pages. And we click on add page and let's call this one about us and done. So if I click on this site right or this uh, page, now we're on the bottles page. And if we click back to home, we're on the home page. And just to make sure that this is actually working, we're just going to add a text right here. And this text is going to be about us. like that so now we have a text right here and just to show you that these are different pages when I click back to the home page the text will disappear so right now we have two different pages we're gonna go ahead and go to the home page and start actually building our site so what you want to do is go ahead and click on add 
and then you want to go down all the way to menu and menus right here you will see a lot of different options as usual uh, these are templates you can use uh, but we will create our own so we're just going to take this one right here and click on it and we will have it right here all you can do is just drag it around put it wherever you want uh, if you put it in here you can see it turns yellow this is the header so the header is going to be the same on every page on your website so if you put this right here it will also be the same on the about us page and it's still going to have the menu at the top so this menu right here you can go ahead and manage the menu and add more pages and the pages will go right here automatically so let's add a page uh, home to and as you see the the page has been added to the menu uh, menu automatically and if you want to stack your menus you can do that as well all you do is drag the about us page under the home too and it's going to be a under menu so when you preview your preview your site by clicking right here uh, you're going to have the about us page just under so let's head back to the editor and let's add some more stuff to our home page. So let's make sure we are on the right, right page, the home page. Uh, and let's go down and add a strip to our website. Let's add, let's see here. What is going to be a good starting? Uh, let's go ahead and use this one. And let's make sure it's not going over the header. So just add the line right here. So this is going to be our home page. So let's edit this and let's call it welcome. So now you have a header right here. If you want to change the images on this one right here, all you have to do is click on the column right here because these are made up of two different columns as you can see right here if you click on a column with an image you can change the column background you can either have a video image color and you can do these things with most of the elements uh, i want to add a video right here so we're going to have that video right there and i want to change the color of this column by clicking on it color and I want it to be and let's say you don't want any of these colors just click down here add color uh, you can use the color code if you have found another color code you like uh, but I'll just use this one right here and I want it to be that color right well, let's go back that color right here and make sure to press add on it all right, so we have changed the color and we have added our very first header on the website. Let's go ahead and add some more elements to our site. So let's say we want a, another strip or list or grids are usually one of the most effective ways of adding stuff to your website. Uh, most of these are very good looking and a good way to add stuff fast to your site. But we're going to go ahead and add some text and by adding some text you just go to add and go to text and choose your heading. So let's say we want a heading 2. Let's drag it down and line it up as we want it to. Click on edit text to edit it. You can choose all the heading one. So all the H1 tags are right here. Paragraph you can do as well. Right here you can change the font of the website. So you can you have all these different options and you can also upload your own fonts to the site. So if, you, if you're not satisfied with the initial fonts, you can just go ahead and purchase a font or find one online and add it to your site. I would recommend you to use Google Fonts just to make sure your site loads faster. Uh, but we want this header right here. And this is going to be about us. Like that. So I've changed the text. And if you want to change the color of the text, you can do it right here. So I want it to be red. Uh, let's make sure we grab it as well. 
now the text is red you can use all these different options so if you want to align it in the middle you can do that as well if you want the text to be aligned in the middle precisely you can use this option right here and now it's going to be aligned straight in the middle let's go ahead and check some other features on the side so you can add different boxes to your site so let's say we wanted to make our own button what we can do is make a box let's put it under this one right here and let's make sure it's lined up like that we can add some text to it or let's just pick the text we already have all right and let's make the container box a bit bigger and as you can see the text is going to be behind the box but to change that just click the box right click on it arrange and move backward so now the text is over the button itself now you have your very own button and you want to link this up all you do is edit text and add a link uh, to that text you can also add a button straight away it's much easier so right here you have buttons and you have all these different designs uh, you can also redesign these buttons yourself by placing it on your site and then going ahead and clicking on design on the design you can do custom design and you can pick all these different options and you can let's say for example have a background color as a red let's make it 100 percent and when people hover over it it's going to change color to black all right so when people hover over this button right here let's preview it's going to turn black if you go ahead and change it again customize and let's say we want our text to be green when you hover over it we change it like that and it's going to be green instead so that's how we do the hover effect on buttons and how you customize your buttons on the side and this is basically how you do wix it's not much harder than this if you want to add different stuff you have all the options right here so let's say we want a social bar with all the links to our social media at the bottom of the site like most other websites what you want to do is just click this and drag it down and once it is at the bottom of the site just click move to footer and this is going to be a footer area this is just the same as your header is going to be on every site or every page on your website so everything you put down here is going to be on every site on your website also make sure you put all the stuff inside of these lines to make sure that everything looks great on every computer and every screen on uh, on every device basically because let's say I have a laptop this text right here is going to be cut off so we probably want to move this text inside of the box by doing this right here uh, doesn't look as great but what you have to do is optimize it so it makes sure it looks good on both devices uh, but let's go ahead and check on the social icons now it's going to be on our footer Let's set our social icons. We don't have Twitter, we have YouTube, not Pinterest, not that. We have Instagram. So the three main ones. Uh, you can go ahead and redesign these as well if you want to. So what you do is replace the icon. And you can pick yourself from here. So let's we say we want a new Facebook icon. We want that one instead and click done and that is our new icon and you can do the same for all these icons and let's go ahead and preview our site so this is our home page right here it looks great and our social icons down down below if you go ahead and go to our about us page everything is gone except the social icons and the menu at the top because these are in the footer and the header area so let's go back to editor and let's add some new stuff to our site because it looks so great. Uh, you can go ahead and add a store if you want to as well. 
but we want a way to contact our company so we're gonna add a contact form and put it down below right here and what you do with these ones are basically the same you click on it you can drag it put it wherever you want you can add an element you can manage fields so let's say you want this to be a kind of a more of a booking form or something like that you can make sure people answer the questions you want them to you can also go ahead and click on the sign uh, use the templates if you want or customize the design so you can fill order capacity so the background color we want it to be yellow on these ones and the container box is gonna be uh, red uh, you can also change the font of the t uh, font of the text and you can also change the size the color basically everything so why i do recommend wix is because you have so many different options so just imagine what you could do if you spend the time making these sites on wix i've made hundreds of sites through wix and it's easily one of the most effective ways of making your own website it's just going to take you a few minutes to get started and learn the tools but once you get started and actually learn how to make your site it's going to be a lot quicker and you're going to feel like you have a lot more control over your website. And Wix is constantly updating their program, they're adding new, new features and Wix is just constantly getting better. So if you want to go ahead and make sure you have a great looking website for either your company, whatever you're doing, go ahead and use Wix. Wix is also a very great tool for uh, starting your blog. So if you want to have a blog, it's also going to work really well on Wix. Their blog format is really good looking. Uh, as you saw, if you actually looked at what I was doing, I added a slide right here. So a slide is going to slide through these images only when the page is live. So when I click on preview, this is going to start rolling automatically. If it's set to scrolling, it should be. Let's go ahead and check on it. So auto play, so it's going to three seconds to load. You can choose different effects on it. You can manage the slides, so you can change the images of all of these. There's so many different options. All of this you can do and it's not very hard. Make sure you click on the link in the description, get started on Wix and try your very best at creating a site. I would love to see your website. So if you have created a new website through Wix, just link it down below. And if you have any questions on what tool you should use or if you just get stuck on something, just comment it down below and I'll make sure to help you out. But remember, the most important part of Wix, make sure you stay in between these lines. Make sure your mobile version looks great, because our uh, it kind of looks great. Uh, but make sure everything looks great on your side, and you have your tools all right here. And these are all the two tools you basically, basically need. And if you feel like you need something else, just go to the app market in Wix and search for whatever you want. You can have must have apps, social forums, chats, and just go through and look through all these different options as well if you feel like you're missing out on something. So let's say I wanted something more SEO. Uh, you have all these different things that can help you with your SEO. Uh, let's say I wanted a online store. Wix stores, Wix art store, Wix bookings, online store, simple e-commerce. You have all these different options so make sure you check them out as well and that is basically how you get started with your wix website make sure you comment your websites down below i'll make sure i could do a video rating your website so if you want to be part of that video comment it down below and i will rate your video talk about how optimized it is how fast it is and how good looking it is in a future video that is gonna be it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the very next video